What do you think about the importance of WTTX to accomplish the ITU 2020 Connect the Underconnected targets? Well, you know, believe it or not, there's still people that don't have broadband at their house. Um, and I think WTDX, you know, as a, wire, as a fixed wireless solution, certainly is going to help reach those goals of reaching the people that, that, that don't have this type of communication service yet. Certainly, you know, when you look at some of the areas that obviously uh, WTTX is targeted at, it, it's going to have, you know, certainly obviously some economic advantages overlaying fiber or overlaying copper in terms of, you know, the cost, especially when you start looking at some of these rules areas that, you know, obviously populate, population density is very sparse. So I think it really, you know, can go away. It certainly is going to complement, you know, the existing broadband network. I don't see it really competing head to head, but in those areas where fixed, you know, traditional fixed broadband doesn't work, I think, you know, obviously WTTX is, is a solution. And with that in mind, I mean, there must be key potential markets to have like large scale WTTX deployments over the next few <coughs> years. Yeah, I mean, I think I mean, the first thing you'd look at, you know, any country that has a national broadband policy is certainly, you know, it's going to be a place to go look, you know, for opportunities for this. Um, and then, of course, there's just some regions that always stand out, you know, sub Sahara Africa, Southeast Asia. Um, even where I live in the United States in the Southwest, the uh, Native American reservations are horribly underserved by any telecommunications today. So I think, you know, obviously things like this could certainly, you know, help change the economic s situation in those areas. So given those kind of dynamics, what recommendations would you make for global operators in driving the adoption of wireless broadband? Um, well, I mean, I guess first, you know, they have to look at the total cost of ownership and the fact that, you know, wireless should have a lower total cost of ownership and make it more palatable for those types of deployments. Um, secondly, I think, you know, the operators have to look beyond just, you know, one or two quarters and have some real imagination, understand, you know, the longer term benefits of improved communications in any area and the valuable role that they'll serve in doing that in terms of, you know, improved communications, improved economics that we've seen. Um, and a lot of it is just, you know, for them just to make that commitment to really deploy it. I mean, unfortunately, you've seen too many times where operators say they're going to deploy some sort of fixed wireless solution for these things, and it seems to be really much more, in my opinion, a lip service to make the regulator happy. So really, you know, I think you know, they really need to commit to it.